Hi everyone, thanks for clicking and welcome back to my channel. Today, this video is going to be about the DF42 NG-6. I'm going to walk you through the uh, cockpit of the DF42 and uh, it will be a quick and uh, simple introduction, especially for those who are uh, transitioning into the multi-engine piston. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. I think you notice in the DF42, uh, NG-6, especially if you have uh, trained or previously uh, flown the DF-40 is that the interior or the cockpit is pretty much the same except for the landing gears and a, a few other uh, uh, components. The G-1000 is the same, circuit breakers, the layout, it's uh, pretty much a replica. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the, uh, the flow. So first thing you have here, the so-called the aux pump. The auxiliary pumps there are two and their job is to transfer fuel from the auxiliary tank which happens to be here to the main tank okay as you can see here the maximum usable fuel main tank is 25 us gallons each and the auxiliary tank is 13 us gallons each so you have a 76 uh, us gallon uh, usable fuel uh, in uh, both the main tank and the auxiliary okay and one thing to keep in mind when operating the fuel auxiliary pumps make sure to wait for 10 seconds interval between the two if you switch the left one first you wait for 10 seconds and then you switch on the right one next we have the trim uh, trim wheel this is the elevator trim so this is the takeoff position if you want to trim nose down, forward, nose up, backwards, and so on. There's nothing to it. Uh, it's uh, straightforward. Next, we have the fuel selectors. I'm going to put a diagram on the screen to explain the um, fuel uh, system on the DF42 engine. So we have three positions. Next, we have the power levers. So two, two power levers. As you can see, we don't have any prop lever or mixture lever. The DF42 NG-6 and even the, the, uh, the DF42 uh, new generation all come with the ECU or the engine control unit. So the, uh, the ECU controls the mixture on the, the, the prop. So you only have the power levers here. Next, we have the uh, parking brake. Okay. Just make sure when you apply park, parking brake now it's released. First you need to press hard on the brake with your toes and then you set the parking. Okay? We have the defrost next to it and we have the cabin heat. In this part of the world we don't actually use these two because it's pretty hot uh, throughout the year. So this is it. Next we have the rudder trim. This is significantly important, especially if we are flying asymmetric due to um, an engine failure, and you need to release uh, relieve some pressure on the on the rudder. This is the the trim. It does the exact same job as the trim wheel, is except this is for the elevator. This one is for the uh, rudder. Next, we have the landing gear selector. Now it's down, up. It's. Uh, self-explanatory straightforward three greens this is the nose wheel left main right uh, main wheel and we have the unsafe for example if we put the landing gear up the unsafe uh, light will switch on to red and it will continue red as long as there is a discrepancy between the position of the lever and the position of the landing gear okay as soon as if you put it up as soon as the gear are up all lights are switched off. If there is any malfunction related to the uh, operation of the landing gear, this red button will be on. To test the system before flight, you just press the test button, you check all the lights are working, and the right and left engine fire initiation of the BFD, I'll show you in a moment, and the gear warning, uh, or warning, okay? Next, we have here, you hold this one or push it this is the emergency manual gear extension 
um, lever. If you have any malfunction and you would like to extend the uh, landing gear, you just pull this uh, red lever, which releases the pressure of the hydraulic pressure in the system. Thus, the landing gear will uh, free fall uh, by gravity. Next, the avionic master, electric master. To switch on the uh, DA42 electrical system, we don't need a key. You just press the electric master and voila, it's on. Next, we have the engine masters, left engine master, right engine master. And then we have the pilot heat and stall heat. And here we have the alternate static. In case we have a static port blockage, you switch on. You switch on this one and it will suck in or senses the um, uh, the pressure from inside the cabin since the the, uh, the f-42 is not a pressurized aircraft so it's an alternate alternative way to uh, get your altimeter and the uh, uh, speed indicator working okay next we have the alternators normally the alternators are kept in the on position we don't usually put them in off except if we have an engine failure like i said and we'd like to switch off or secure the the dead engine then we put the alternator corresponding to the uh, dead engine to the off position just to make sure there is no electrical or any uh, potential uh, issue or threat this is the ACU test button or some uh, some of you may call it the um, ground check or the run-up so the run-up we do it pressing these two uh, buttons and the ECU or the electro um, engine control unit will do it automatically for you okay this is the vent normally it's uh, closed because it's too noisy if you keep it on <laughs> then we have the gear warning uh, mute for example if you are um, just um, practicing asymmetric I mean one power lever or two are positioned at approximately 20% or less the gear warning will go off indicating that you have forgotten to put the gear landing gear down or if you put the flaps to landing position with the landing gear still in the up the gear warning will go on to switch it off you simply press on this button and it will go on, uh, switch off Instrument light, flood light, self-explanatory. Then we have the ex exterior lights. We have landing lights, taxi, position and stop. There's nothing much to it. And then next we have the emergency. Sorry, that was a helicopter taking off. Next we have this emergency. Uh, switch this is for uh, the emergency backup battery the backup battery is a non rechargeable battery which lasts for one hour and 30 minutes and supplies electrical uh, power to the at backup attitude uh, attitude indicator and the floodlights okay. these are the floodlights here standby airspeed indicator standby attitude standby altimeter magnetic compass and the calibration okay, with the deviation and all that and this is the ALT uh, the emergency locator transmitter is always in the armed position and here we have the circuit breakers and the, they come in a beautiful diagram corresponding to the bus each component is connected to okay this is the flap switch and these two are the uh, fuel pumps, the elect uh, electrically uh, operated fuel pumps, no pressure pumps. Okay, and of course we have the rudder pedals. This is to disconnect the autopilot. This is the electrical trim, elevator, trim this one. And you have a button here, which is the CWS for the autopilot or the control wheel steering, which overrides the um, control of the autopilot. And then you have this PTT here or push to talk button. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for the uh, cockpit tour of the DF42 NG-6, part two of this video. I will be uh, doing a walk around around the, uh, the DF42 NG and show you the, uh, the inlets and all of that. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.